All right, guys, I want to talk a minute about your transducers here. Airmar has a lot of new transducers now, the wide transducers. No matter what frequency or chirp fan range you set, it will always have a steady wide cone. In this case, it's the 25 degree cone. I have a B175 high wide and a B175 medium on here. And the reason I have both is for two different styles of fishing. I do a lot of open water fishing. Now I, I you know, go for stripers and fresh and salt water. You know, bays, creeks, oceans, uh, sounds, rivers, up in the mountains, all the way up to Gloucester. So we are catching fish in lots of different areas. And I like these two transducers working together because I have that nice wide cone for an open water. I can find where fish are hanging quickly. When I'm running on plane, I can mark these fish. Because my cone is so wide, I can see fish, I can see bait. The only downside is when I get over those fish and say I want to drop a jig down, my cone is so wide and showing so many fish that those fish may not be directly under my boat or underneath my transducer. They could be off to the side of the boat, especially when you're getting into deeper water. The deeper you are, the wider your cone gets. So your cone gets wider and wider the further away from the boat it gets. But just like a flashlight beam, it gets wider you know, the further you are away from your target. So we may see a screen full of fish, but those fish could be surrounding the boat. They could be 10, 20, 30 foot off to the side of the boat, depending on how deep we are. So that's why I like a, a narrower cone as well. I, uh, I have a medium chirp. It's the B175 medium chirp. It has a much narrower cone, and the cone will actually fluctuate with this model transducer, depending on if I have it in 83 kilohertz, or a custom frequency, or a set medium chirp. So it has you know, numerous cone angles, but they're all narrower than the 25 degree in the high wide. Here's our medium here with our narrower cones. Here's our high wide with a very wide cone. All this bait and small fish, all cluttered together, lots and lots of targets. The transducers are right next to each other and you can see how many more targets the high wide is showing versus the medium. Now it's not a bad thing, you know, there's give and take with everything. We like this for when we're targeting individual fish. That fish was probably very close to our transducer. Very strong mark. Lots of yellow in there. Yellow is our strongest return in the palette. That fish was probably under the center of the transducer or very close. So if I wanted to jig on him or drop a live bait down, I could be confident that I'm probably gonna drop it close to him. Over here, we have a strong target, but because of the wide cone, it really could be on the outer edge of the cone and it could be you know, 10, 20 feet away from the boat or even further in deeper water. So I might not be able to drop a jig down on him as accurately. You see how many more targets we're seeing here. Now when it comes to fishing, everything is give and take. It's all compromising. It's hard to get that one perfect anything on a boat. And for the, a lot of you guys asking about what transducer I should get, I'm only gonna get one, you know, what, which one should I get? I still like the high wides a whole lot for most of my fishing. When I'm looking for fish, most of the time I'm looking for a pattern. So I don't necessarily need to be directly over the mark. As long as I know where they're hanging, what depth range, you know, if they're hanging on certain contours, certain transitions, I'm gonna run around, find where those fish are hanging, look for that pattern, develop a good way to catch those fish, and kind of stay on that pattern all day. Matter of fact, once you kind of find where they're hanging for the day, you almost don't need the fish finder as much anymore because you kind of know where they're hanging. And that's what I use it for. So for me, I like the high wide. If I was gonna choose one, I would probably pick that. But if I'm a deep fisherman who's jigging over fish or dropping live baits down, I'd probably want a narrower cone. All right, so there you go. You see how many more targets we're getting, how many more returns. Here we have our medium chirp with narrower cones and our high wide with a steady wider cone. I have these set to single frequency right now so they're not in a chirp bandwidth. I just wanted to show you the difference here. I'm not terribly deep, so I usually don't set my transducers to chirp until I'm deeper than 30 foot most of the time. But I just want to give you an idea. You can see how many more returns we're getting here with a much wider cone. 
Doesn't mean it's any better or any worse. It's just they're different. 